Today we're going to simplify square roots or we could say simplify radicals. So let's get started. The first problem is we want to simplify radical 8. Well, this is just one method of simplifying radicals. I'll probably put some more methods on, but this is just one way. Um, let's find the prime factorization of 8. So I'm going to break 8 down into prime factors. What are two factors of 8? 2 and 4. 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that because that's a prime number. 4 is a composite number, so I can break 4 down into 2 and 2. And I'm going to circle these two numbers. So I broke 8 down into 2, 2, and 2. So if I wanted, I could rewrite. So underneath my radical, I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? Since I want to match up like constants, okay? The, I can, I'm going to circle these two constants. Since these two constants, if you multiply 2 times 2, that will give you 4, and radical 4 is a perfect square. So therefore, on the outside, I'm going to put this, four, this 2 on the outside because radical 4 is 2, and I'm going to leave my 2 on the inside. So 2 radical 2 equals another way of saying radical 8. Okay, let's do another one. Radical 12. I want to make a factor tree for 12. That's going to be 4 and 3. 3 is a prime number. Going to break 4 down into 2 and 2. So under my radical symbol, I now have 2, 2, and 3. If I multiply 2 times 2, that's going to be 4. 4 is a perfect square. Square root of 4 is 2. So that's going to go on the outside. And 3 stays on the inside. Let's do a larger number. Let's try radical 40. So I'm going to make a factor tree for 40. I'm going to say 10 and 4. 10 is, 10 is a composite number, so I can break that down again into 2 and 5. Both of these are prime numbers. And 4, I can break 4 down into 2 and 2. And they're prime numbers. So underneath my radical, I can write 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Here's my perfect square. 2 times 2 is 4. Radical 4 is 2. That goes on the outside. But inside I have a 2 and a 5. So I'm going to multiply these two back together. 2 times 5 is 10. So radical 40 equals 2 radical 10. Uh, I want to let you try 80. If you'll freeze the video right now and work on ra simplify radical 80, please. Okay. Let's take 80 and let's break 80 down. 80 breaks down into 8 and 10. 8 breaks down into 2 and 4. 2 is a prime number. I can break 4 down into 2 and 2. Those are prime numbers. I'm going to break 10 down into 2 and 5 prime numbers. So now that I have all prime numbers on my end, I can write underneath my radical, 
I can write 2, 2, 2 times 2 times 5 because I have 1, 2, 3, 4 twos and 1, 5. Here's a perfect square and here's a perfect square. So I'm going to bring these two twos outside the parentheses and leave my 5 inside because it doesn't have a pair. But now I need to multiply these two twos together so that's going to give me 4 radical 5. Let's try another one. Let's try 88. If you'll freeze the video and try 88. Okay, let's make a factor tree for 88. So that's going to be 2 and 44. That's a prime number. That's going to be 2 and 22. That's a prime number. That's going to be 2 and 11. Both of these numbers are prime numbers. So underneath my radical, I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 11. This is a prime number, so it's going to go outside. Inside, I still have a 2 and 11. So I'm going to multiply 2 times 11, which is... Uh, let me just put this here. I'm going to bring my 2 and 11 inside, because I want to show you every step. And then I'll bring my 2 down, and 2 times 11 is 22. Okay. Let's try a hundred radical 120. If you'll freeze the video and try that one, please. Okay, I have 120. Wow, I want to break this one down. That's going to give me 2 and 60 because 2 times 60 is 120. That's a prime number. I can break 60 down into 2 and 30. That's a prime number. I can break 30 down into 3 and 10. That's a prime number. I can break 10 down into 2 and 5. Both of these are prime numbers. So underneath my radical, I'm going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Make sure I have 2, 2, 3, 2, and 5. Have all of them, okay? There's a perfect square. It's got to go outside. Inside, I'm left with 2 times 3 times 5. So my final answer is going to be 2 radical. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. All right, that's the end of this video. Um, if you have any more videos you like me to look that you like me to make, um, I'll be more than happy to make them. Just email me at mathwithmoon@gmail.com, and I'll be more than happy to make those videos. Have a great day.